All right. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hopefully you can you hear me. <sighs> I'm bitch. It's it's been a week, guys. My son is homesick for the third day in a row. And we're doing this challenge. Listen to your heart in parenting. So today, uh, you may get to see some real live action. He's watching TV. Um, he told me I have to work downstairs today, even though uh, he's in my office slash bedroom. So I'm down here keeping the peace. Um, and <laughs> if you're not in my Facebook group, make sure to jump in there for the challenge because it is a good one. Listening to your heart and parenting, how to work through your own emotional um, regulation, your triggers, uh, dealing with stress in parenting, getting to the heart of what really matters in your parenting, and also your own um, kind of your own blueprint, if you will, of how you show up in your parenting. So today is all about um, anxiety. Ooh, so I'm dealing with a lot of it today. Um, and if you join the challenge, it's in the Facebook group. There's a free workbook. All the links are attached to this video if you need to grab the stuff. Um, this is the book that I was inspired to make the challenge for, but also it's inspired. So this is Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown. But it was also, um, it's also part of my parent coaching program. So um, my eight week class called Parenting Paused, we go through your emotional triggers and we work through um, what's coming up from you and what you're working with from your parenting template, the conditioning that you had as a child and how that shows up in your parenting. Um, so today is about anxiety. And in the book, Atlas of the Heart, uh, she talks about worry and avoidance. So two types of strategies. Do you, are you a worrier or are you a, more of an avoider? Um, so thinking about that uh, might be beneficial and journaling about that. Where does that show up in your life? Um, let me see if I can read the definition. Worry is described as a chain of negative thoughts about bad things that might happen in the future. And then avoidance is not showing up and often spending a lot of energy zigzagging around and away from that thing that already feels like it's consuming us. Whew. So I've been doing a little bit of this this week um, with a sick child. Uh, I believe from an early age, I became a warrior and wanting to take care of everybody else, try to, um, avoid, not avoid. That's the other one. Try to, um, kind of control my environment. Um, if I could figure out what to do to make the situation better. I would um, create that, right? And I do that with my children. Like if I can avoid, if I can, uh, I keep using the word avoid. So maybe, maybe I am an avoider. This is interesting. I'm going to have to journal more about this. Um, so let's take him sick, for instance. Uh, I am, already this morning I had to play clue uno um make three different breakfasts <laughs> and so i'm taking care taking care taking care and it's because i i worry that i want to show up for him i want him to get better i want to take care of him i give him his his medicine his his vitamins you know be there. I want to be there. And so this was a strategy I developed early on. And in the challenge, there are also the um, stress responses, right? The four stress responses that you might identify with. Fight, flight, 
freeze or fawn. And fawn is a fairly new one that they're just um, t starting to talk about. And I did not realize this was something I had developed early on in my, in my, in growing up. I'm the oldest of five kids. There was a lot going on. My parents were stressed. Um, I became, that became a strategy. So fawn means people pleasing, avoiding conflict, prioritizing others' needs over your own. Difficulty saying no. Setting boundaries can be difficult. This, when I realized this about myself and that it was actually a stress response, that's where the self-compassion can come in. This is something that I developed early on. And in order to know more about myself, I have to meet that with compassion. That, wow, I really, really developed some strategies to protect myself, to, to keep the peace in my family. And now, is it really working for me in my parenting? If I'm overgiving, um, constantly <laughs> taking care of other people's needs. And yes, when your child is sick, that's really important. But on day three, I'm starting to feel really the overwhelm, the burnout that I am just reacting rather than responding. I'm really going into that stress response more so and not showing up present anymore. So this is the, this is what I work through in my coaching and my in my programs is how do we meet our early strategy and kind of grow the capacity to come into an adult relationship with it. <coughs> so back here, he's got his um, fort set up. We've had this set up all week. Um, and I've let the things go that I need to do. Like I haven't done my chores, like vacuuming hasn't been done. I haven't been walking the dog. Um, I'm really starting to feel my energy deplete. So it's time to take care of myself. Okay, so before I get off of here, uh, it, it will make more sense if you join that, if that join that challenge, get the workbook and um, come to the book study. We're doing the next two Sundays, we'll have a Zoom call. So if you grab that workbook, I'll be emailing a Zoom link. And we'll discuss some of the book and discuss more in depth uh, about these like stress, anxiety, overwhelm in our parenting and how we show up for ourselves with compassion. Um, and before I get off of here, I also have my membership program where we work through, you know, setting boundaries dealing with stress and parenting called Omen the Home Revolution. I have um, included in there the parenting pause, pause class for um, members joining. The first five people that join as founding members get that included. There is an upgrade if you want that class. And the Omen the Home Revolution includes tons of coursework on conscious parenting. It includes the yoga video library for yourself and your kids. There's also a course I've made on self-care and uh, called From A uh to Om, Reclaim Your Body, Transform Your Mind. This is all the stuff that I had to do when I was in overwhelm and burnout to get back to myself, um, where I had been giving and giving and giving to the point of collapse. Um, and, and in that chat, that daily post today, if you jump into the group, I do describe each of those stress responses, fight, flight, freeze, and fawn a bit deeper to kind of get to know what is, what is your go-to in the situations? Um, you doing all right? It, sound, it sounds like there's something upsetting you. Um, okay, so if you want to talk about my program, message me, founding member. I better jump off of here and uh, get on with the post. I am live daily at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. The post will go live at noon Eastern. 
and there is prizes for everybody participating. So make sure you participate in the Facebook group. If you're watching after the live challenge, it's always there for you in the guide section of my group. So have a great day, everybody. 